What the Jewish state has done is it has moved Jews from the category of the Basques, the Chechnyans, the Tibetans, the Armenians, and so forth, to the categories of the French, the Germans, the Italians, the Spanish, and so many more, people who are responsible for their own destiny. That's what the Jewish state has done. The pride that thousands of Jewish people feel when the buses disengorge them at the steps of Capitol Hill and they walk up each spring by the many thousands to speak to their congressmen and to demand that their congressmen hear them out at least is a product of 1967. Because there were millions of Jews in this country between 1941 and 1945. And how many buses pulled up? How many days was Capitol Hill deluged with Jews saying to their congressmen, bomb the tracks? One bomb and the train can't move anymore. Or open up the shores because the Statue of Liberty ought to stand for something. How is it possible that the Statue of Liberty is at the mouth of New York Harbor and boatloads of Jews with nowhere on the planet to go get turned away? But the shores were closed. And the shores of Canada were closed. And the shores of Palestine back then were closed. And Jews did not climb the steps of Capitol Hill to demand something different. Because we were Basques. We were Tibetans. We were Chechnyans. We were Armenians. We hoped to escape unnoticed. And Israel changed all of that. What Israel's enemies understand, and more importantly, what the enemies of the Jewish people understand, is that you don't have to make train tracks anymore to destroy the Jewish people. And you don't need bullets and bombs to destroy the Jewish state. It's all just dominoes. If you can win the battle of ideas, and ideas are potent, how many decades passed, not that many, between the time that Marx wrote the Communist Manifesto and the time that the Russian Revolution took place? How many decades passed between the time that Theodor Herzl wrote Der Judenstaat and the United Nations voted to create a Jewish state? Or the British government actually issued the Balfour Declaration, which is even more important. Just a couple of decades there. Ideas are unbelievably potent, both when they are accepted and when they are repudiated. So they understand very well they are so smart. Just take this battle to the court of public opinion, and you can do exactly what you did to communism only communism deserved it.